lot of parents ask, when should we stop? We've been tutoring, my kid is diligent. How do we know when the end point is? I have a suggestion. There's no one clear place, but it is when on two consecutive practice tests, your kid has scored at or above where he or she needs to be. Now, every one of you have a different criteria of where you need to be. If you're targeting an Ivy League school, well, there's like mm, 1,600 or pretty darn close. If you're targeting a, pres a, a prestigious state university, not quite as high caliber, there's a number there. They publish it in the U.S. News Survey, and that number, I think, is being above the 75th percentile mark. So they give you the 25th percentile and the 75th percentile for about 300 schools in this report. Your score, we want above the 75th, meaning you're in the top 25 percentile of students who are accepted to that school. That puts you well in the running, assuming you have a good GPA. So you don't know what your score is until you take the actual SAT. But if in practice, you're doing practice tests and pinging that number or better, once you do twice in a row, my feeling is your learning is complete enough. If you still wanna enlist a tutor even more, fine. That can help you pile on points. But you're at a sufficient stopping point with those two in a row good practice tests. Yes, this implies taking practice tests, which eludes some kids. Please, our standard is at least five. And a lot of our students take eight, nine, ten practice tests before their target real test. I think you better set five as a minimum. You get to know the test and know yourself and your likely ability to perform under the real test conditions. I have students in front of me today doing just this, right guys? They're doing it right because this is the best assurance that on test day, things are familiar enough. You don't get uh, squirrely because of some little aberration. You're preparing yourself well by in-person or at least online testing. We do that for all of you, your clients of ours, please enlist at least a couple times and at least five times, including those on your own, to be getting practice under your belt, time conditions, and giving yourself a score at the end. I'm Mark Greenstein. Thanks for listening here.